Hey guys and girls, good to see you back. Uh, well, last time, you remember I um, did the two engine covers I painted two nights and uh, clear coated them. Um, I'm going to hang those up somewhere on the walls here as a display piece. But today, um, I've got a canvas, I'll grab it, and I bought that recently. I've got a couple of canvas paintings to do, and you'll remember in an earlier video I did, uh, I showed you how to do a portrait. Um, well, I'm going to do another portrait today. There's a guy I follow, I follow his channel. Um, he doesn't know I'm doing it. But first of all, I'll sort of do a, a background and then do the portrait. And uh, he lives in America, so I'm going to send that to him. And then I've got a second portrait to do for a friend. He uh, has a channel as well, and he lives in um, Australia. But he used to live in WA, where I live, but he's um, since shifted over east, and uh, he lives in New South Wales. So um, I'll get into that. Uh, I have my, um, my new, or not brand new, but replacement ECU unit for my Nissan, which is good because that means that I can uh, at least start the Nissan and get it here into the back cave, get it up on the hoist. So um, then I can start cutting out rust and uh, take you along, show you what I'm gonna do. I wanna get it basically um, all the body work done, painted, uh, I need four new tires, um, probably might do something with the interior. I need to get an So what this thing is here, that's the ECU unit out of my um, 280ZX that I've got out the back. And um, she's pretty buggy, but we've got the serial numbers. I ordered another one and it arrived. So I want to check. Looks the same. Oh, I need my glasses for this one. So we got two, two, six. Anyway, I'm going to go chuck this in and uh, keep the old one as reference or maybe uh, look at the possibility of someone uh, fixing that one up. I don't know if you can uh, refurbish the ECUs, but you know, worth keeping anyway. Parts, uh, parts. parts are getting pretty hard for the old um, Nissans now, so you're better off hanging on to the parts. I do. Um, I also spotted a couple of bobtail lizards, lizard, get it out, Max. Lizards in my garden, and uh, obviously a couple. They pair up for life. There's one. Hey, baby. G'day, matey. How are you? He's, uh, not moving. He wants to uh, pretend he's not here so I don't see him. There's another one here too, somewhere. Oh, down here. G'day. Gotta watch it doesn't latch onto my finger because they uh, have quite a bite. Can you see him there? You can see his face. There. That's one and two. You can see the tail end of this one. Yep. 
Beautiful. I like them around the yard because they'll keep snakes at bay. I'll just show you quickly. I've uh, got the two engine covers all sort of, they're clear coated, they're dried. Um, I didn't actually um, show you guys the two nights together I finished. So that's post clear coat. They're all done. Just going to hang them on the wall as is. They came up pretty good, nice and shiny. I'm fairly happy with that. Well, I'm pleased with how those look. So I've got to get my AMTG, stick them on the wall, and um, I'll get into the, the portrait. I want to start that today. Uh, but I want to also plug the new ECU unit into the Datsun out the back, or the Nissan. Um, I've got a pop out this afternoon. I've ordered the um, fuel injector and the fuel injector kit, so I've got to go down. That's about an hour's drive. Go pick those up, bring them back, and um, I can't really start it without the injector. So once you get all that in, put the fuel rail back in, crank it. It's got fresh fuel in it already. Hopefully it'll kick over. And this shed here, the back cave, it has a big ramp like uh, up to the roller doors so there's no way you can actually push anything into the shed so you've really got to have something that is able to drive in so that anyway that's um without going on and on and on that's my plans for the day please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe and we'll get into the portrait
I'm pretty happy with the progress. I thought I'd stop for a cup of coffee, but uh, for those of you who don't know who this guy is, his name's Jason Brashears, and he's got a channel called Archaics, and he um, he's a chronologist, very knowledgeable guy, and uh, he um, talks about the, the world we live in, or realm we live in, I call it, as a simulation. Very interesting guy. Anyone who hasn't heard of Archaics, go and check him out. Anyway, um, hope you like the progress. Still got quite a bit to do. Uh, sorry about the shaking hand. Um, still quite a bit to do. I've got to do his arm in the foreground. Uh, I've got to finish the stars at the top and um, lots of other details anyway. So. I've never actually done a portrait of myself before. It'll be an easy one to do though. <laughs> had my uh, driver's license done just recently. They had to take my photo. And uh, I looked at the photo and, oh God, they, they must put an ugly lens on the uh, camera in the licensing center. Because uh, I think I look halfway between Mr. Potato Head and Humpty Dumpty. So, so um, that's probably why I haven't done a portrait yet, but uh, all good.
Almost finished. So I've only got a few things to do now. I've added the book. I've added the lettering there at the bottom. Of course, there's uh, Jason's initials. That's his saying, break free or die trying, meaning uh, this world is a simulation. Hence this little guy here, he's escaping. Of course, there's my name there. Uh, the other details I've got to add, I've got to put next to the book, I want to put a coffee mug because he's always sipping coffee on his videos and he's got books and uh, behind him and everywhere. So, And the only other thing after that, actually two things, I've got to put a, um, somehow I've got to put a phoenix up here and down here a little tree just like the original picture. Otherwise, we're on home straight. And I'm fairly happy with that.
Well, there you have it guys, it's finished. Well, out of those little details that I said I was uh, going to add the coffee cup with uh, Jason's channel, Archaics. And if you haven't checked out Jason Brashear's channel, Archaics, there's archaics.com. I believe he's on Facebook too, go check him out. He's got hundreds of videos, really interesting guy. I also added the Phoenix. If you don't know what the Phoenix is, Jason uh, goes into that on his channel and of course I put the little tree in there so job done thumbs up that was my thumb by the way well that brings us to the end of another video um, hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of that if you want to know how to do a portrait yourself um, I can't remember how many videos back, but if you go through my videos, uh, I do a um, video on how to do a portrait massively. And uh, it's a way that I've used for a long time. And when you're working, say when I'm painting Harley Davidson's and you're flat out, you've, you've got to have a short turnaround customer wants to fight back in about, you know, two weeks or a week. Um, it's a good quick way to um, achieve a portrait so but anyway um, I'd like to give a shout out to Jason Brashears and his lovely partner Dawn uh, both awesome I hope they enjoy the painting I've got to send it to um, Texas next uh, and, and I do have some more portraits to do so if you want to stick around and, um, and watch me do those that would be awesome but as usual uh, if you guys please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the videos and hit the subscribe button, doesn't cost you anything and it helps my channel to grow. Anyway, till next time, ciao.